Man, I can't find any good reviews of the Iron Man Mark 85 and Thanos Infinity Saga 2 pack. Fine, I'll do it myself. What's going on, fellow collectors? Welcome to another AR review. Today, <laughs> we are looking. <laughs> Today, we are looking at the Marvel Legends Infinity Saga series, Iron Man Mark 85, and Thanos. In 2008, Iron Man jump started the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Following that, we had 10 years of build up to this very moment the Avengers Endgame. A moment that is featured right here in this two pack with Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, and the Mad Titan Thanos. So we'll do a little walk around of the box here. As you see in the front, you got a nice big window. And you know, for inbox collectors, having this window right here, you can see all the items, all the accessories, and the figure itself. So that's pretty cool. I like when there's a nice big window for inbox collectors. And then at the bottom here, you have the Infinity Saga with the Legend series here. These are a specific series and we're gonna be doing a lot of these. We're gonna do all those figures from this series. But before we begin, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment on our videos because if you're a subscriber and you leave a comment, we're gonna give away a prize every month. So in the month of September, you have a chance to win these two here, father and son connection here, Thor and Odin. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment by end of September. We'll announce a winner and you'll have a chance to win these two cool guys. So let's take a look at the back of the box here. We've got this really cool poster. What's unique about this poster is it's actually different than the movie poster that we got at the theaters and it was released in advertising because you got Iron Man here with his helmet on rather than the Robert Downey Jr. face. Looking at the side of the box, this right here and then this right here. What's cool is both sides have different MCU characters. At the top of the box here, you have the Avengers Endgame logo with the names of Thanos and Iron Man here. Bottom of the box, you just have barcode and some legally stuff. All right, let's get this puppy opened up. So DeWalter's on vacation, so the Husky's coming in to fill in. Man, there is a lot of stuff here. Mm. Man, this, you know, two, two pack, comes with a ton of accessories. You got multiple hands and head, blaster effects, you know, like Iron Man is loaded with accessories. Tune in next time when we actually get all the stuff out. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. Ah, there's an end game to this now. Woo! -hoo, finally, we got them all out here. As you can see here, a plethora of stuff to go over. We'll start off with the figures first. Now these guys have been made before. We've got the Iron Man figure a while back in the Bro Thor build figure wave, which was a kind of a weak wave. And then Thanos here, uh, this guy was actually a, a build figure as well. So having a look at this guy right now in front of me here, I am going to say one thing. They nailed the likeness of Tony. Robert, sorry, I say Robert Downey Jr., not Tony. But they nailed his likeness. I mean, these two, are like on the level of Japanese imports, if not better, which is so awesome because a lot of times Hasbro's likeness is not that good, but they killed it with Tony here. However, the downside is this doesn't represent the end game Iron Man because as we all know, when he was like on the verge of doing a little snap, spoiler if anybody hasn't watched it yet, his armor was shredded. Like, I mean, there was damage all over his armor. I don't understand why they couldn't replicate that being this is the end game armor, the last one that he was wearing. There, it's, it's pristine, it, you know, like he just came out of the Tesla showroom here. Look, it's all shiny, it's perfect. Not a speck of dirt on him, nothing. That is kind of disappointing. And here we have Thanos, the battle armor final edition Thanos. You know, I applaud them for doing a good job. I mean, they've got the armor pretty much nailed onto what he looked like in the final battle scene. There is some damage marks, unlike that guy over there. There's a lot of damage here. Bottom area, it could have used a little bit more damage, but upper area, you know, the hands right here, it's got some scratches and, you know, battle damage. Obviously the chest area here has got a lot of, you know, damage. 
And then I also like the fact that, you know, they didn't put the stones on here because remember that scene where, you know, Tony basically takes the stones away from him, right? And uh, he ends up snapping nothing. So I, I do like the fact that they have this snapping movement here with no gems. So that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, with all that being said, I'm not a fan of this gray. I know what they're trying to go for. They're trying to go for that ash look, right? His face is turning into ash and then the armor. It just doesn't work for me because does the upper body only turn to ash and the rest don't? Like, I mean, it should be consistent all the way down because it just will make more sense. The whole body's disappearing at once. I know like, you know, the, there's budgets, you know, all that, but I don't know. I just don't feel it right here. This is, I don't, I don't think they nailed it. And then the other thing is the gold is, I mean, I don't know. The gold in some areas, it's vibrant. It's more of a yellow gold. And the other areas, it's, it's a dull plastic look. If the armor feel is what we want to go for, and you want to make this look as real as possible, the paint needed to be a little bit better, in my opinion. The, the plastic yellow doesn't go well with this figure. There are elements of this figure throughout the body here where it does look more metal. It just doesn't make it consistent. And that kind of throws me off here. Like when I look at this, I'm like, oh, that certain areas look metallic. And then certain areas like the back right here looks like cheap plastic. And for me, it just kind of feels weird. It's like, it was like almost like there was a budget there and they kind of hit it and they're like, okay, well, that's the most we're going to go. We're, we can't go any more than this. So we're going to give them little elements, but we're not going to finish it all off. And that's where, you know, my reason is I always go to the Japanese manufacturing companies for Thanos. So we'll do a little quick articulation of this guy here. Starting off with the head here. It's unusual for Marvel Legends to have the neck and head piece one piece. Usually it's actually just the head that comes off the top here, but it is sitting on a ball peg and it has good range up and down. So you can do the flight pose if he has to. Well, not too much, but you can get them like that. I kind of wish, eh, there we go. It does show this little weird cutoff here, but you can get them in the flying pose. In terms of the shoulder area, no butterfly joint. That would have been nice if they snuck that in under the armor, right? So like the Japanese companies usually do. Stick that in there. Uh, you do get the shoulder to come up and you can rotate like so. You do have bicep swivel and double elbow, so that's cool and then wrist swivel with a hinge at the top here. Arm standard stuff, nothing crazy. Upper torso swivel, no waist swivel, unfortunately. Thigh cut and double knee. And then you have your ankle rocking and moving up and down. So this is obviously very similar to the Iron Man figure we got, but the head is actually set up differently. You cannot swap out the other head with this one. It won't work. It's just, you know, set up differently. So because I've got this white table here, you can easily tell if paint falls off here. I can easily track it. There is no paint rub at all here. Nothing's falling off. That is awesome. There's a lot of figures we reviewed here. And when we're done, there's like a pile of paint sitting on the table here. So it's nice to see that. And speaking of paint, it's got that metallic feel. The gold really feels like a metal gold, not plastic gold. So I, I do like that. It's a darker tone. And I think it works really well with this figure right here. So in terms of accessories, he's got a plethora of accessories, which is nice. Shield right here, the hologram blue shield. I like that. Might have actually be used for the hologram Iron Man that everyone got from the comic version. Eh, something to think about. And then you've got this two bladed weapon of his. That is so cool. Uh, the only time we've seen this is in the Japanese import. So it's nice to see that he's got one of these to wield. And then you've got the Marvel Legends blasters, you know, that we've all come to know. That's nice. And hands, boy, he's got a lot of hands. I like it. Anytime you give additional hands to a character, it really is cool. You've got the fist hands right here. And then you've got the open pulse hands where he shoots out the pulse beams. Then you've got his helmet here. This is great. Kind of wish the eyes were blue or something. Just kind of go off this. Maybe when he's looking at it, it's blue. I don't know. I just want something cool and different. 
all the time. And then you got the nice clean shave, no dust or damage on Tony Stark here. I honestly, I'm loving this. I mean, the, the head sculpt is so good. It's like someone, you know, from third party made this. It, it's just so good. I love it. Probably the best, in my opinion here, for likeness. We'll see. We've got other um, Infinity War figures to open up. In fact, all of them. So, and we'll take a look at Thor, um, Odin, all those characters, and see how their likenesses are compared to this guy. And then the other accessory that I didn't mention is you can see him snap in here with the gemstones here, the infinity stone, not gemstones. It's not a commercial for Zales. And here is the Matt Titan himself here. Articulation wise, let's go over this guy here. So for head, he's on a hinge. You can't really get much, you can go left and right and range. That's as low as he's gonna go. And highest he's gonna, so it's very, very minimal here. You can, you know, obviously go left and right, so that's all right. But it just kind of looks weird when you look, oh, look at me. Shoulder-wise here, no butterfly joint in here. Sucks because the Japanese version does have butterfly joints here, and it's really cool to have that range. Kind of disappointed. No bicep swivel, another disappointment. Essentially, this is pretty much the same figure that we got in the bath a while back, except for the skirt area, which is a little different. For upper body here, you have just an ab crunch. You have no swivel on the upper torso or the waist. Yep, no swivel on the waist. Thigh area, well, you've got thigh swivel, so that's nice. And you have double knees with the ankle up and down and left and right. Oh, and going back to the arm, actually, the elbow is single jointed. This whole arm area is very disappointing. For a guy that, you know, punches with his arms the most, uses his arms, you know, to grab people and fling them around and then actually use the gauntlet to kill people, he needs more mobility, I think, with his arms. No butterfly joint, no bicep swivel, single jointed elbow. And then for the wrist area here, the wrist can only move, like you just swivel. It can't even move up and down because of this padding here. And then for the other hand, the gauntlet, it swivels. It would have been nice to have individual fingers, but yeah, that's gonna be way above the cost to build this figure to get that going. And yeah, I mean, you know, arms, I would have loved to see a little bit of a minor upgrade from the previous Thanos. You know, if you're gonna make us buy this figure again, there's people who bought this armor and are probably like, oh, I gotta buy this again. Yeah, I understand aesthetically it's different. Yes, I get it. But maybe just add a couple of different articulation just to change it up a bit it would have been awesome it would have been a nice ending get it end game ending to this series so moving to accessories here i'm gonna jump right to it here this blade is dope i love the actual look of this blade the paint is nice it's that metallic paint to it or sorry metal brush paint to it the only thing i don't like is this which i've talked about with the body it's i don't like this plastic gold look it just throws it off i mean you spend all that money making this blade looks nice and then you just go cheapo on this. Ah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being picky. Let me know in the comment section. Am I being picky? And then for accessories, you've got multiple heads here. You've got this one with the helmet on, where he's mad and really upset that he lost all the Infinity Stones to Tony. And then you have these ones. These are like, you know, like I'm sitting in the front porch of this planet and just fishing. And to get on what to eat for dinner. It's just like the gloomy, happy, I don't know, the, the, this looks looks so dopey. Like, he's just like in Zen, Thanos Zen. And then for accessory, hand accessory, this is the only hand you're gonna get. And it's the only hand that matters, right? You got the stones on there and he's, you know, you got the fist clinching here and he's ready to basically snap everybody for the second time. So yeah, it's nice to get this. So comparison wise here, we've got the old Iron Man figure the MCU Iron Man, and then the new one right here. So the gold on the old one is brighter than the new one. To me, they both look good. Uh, depends, right? I mean, I, I if I had to pick, I'd say the new one is a little bit more nicer. The red and the old one is a more of a darker burgundy red versus the new one, it's more a brighter red, not too bright, it is movie color accurate, I believe. It's got that red glow to it. 
the head this is where the big change happened so the old one it's just sitting on top of a neck piece here the neck piece here it's two pieces right so that allows you to do more movement here gives you a lot of range i like this this one is very you know like left and right and you couldn't even get it up and down so barely get it up and down i, I do like the fact that it's one piece the neck and the actual head here. that's cool one other thing that i wanted to mention is there is silver on the old one inside the between the grooves you got silver everywhere and this one the new one you have it's black it's not silver it, it, to me it looks more mcu accurate and here for comparison i've got the five pack thanos versus the end game thanos now i know i don't have the battle armor thanos it's somewhere in one of these mounds that i have in my room i've got a ton of figures that i have to go through and sort out so yeah maybe i'll find it maybe i don't i don't know i just wanted to bring this figure in here because he does come with this burnt effects and to me this looks well done like <laughs> well done as an effort you know when it comes to doing effects they hasbro can pull it off i mean this looks really good even the face right here looks really good what i'm trying to say is if they can nail this this should have been nailed as well the ash look looks terrible here i mean this doesn't even look like ash it looks like war paint or something on here the face doesn't look that great either it wasn't executed well in my opinion so what's the verdict on these guys well they do come with a plethora of accessories i'm not going to deny that the accessories are really nice to have the tony stark you know robert Downey jr head they killed it they knocked it out of the park it's awesome the astral figure itself it's nice paint job versus the other one we got i would have loved to see a little bit more articulation incorporated but i understand it's a mold they already had they want to put it in place the thanos on the other hand the paint job is not that great i'm not a fan of this the gold looks off there's areas where it just looks like cheap plastic uh you look at the handle on this i mean if you're gonna go the route of giving us metallic look just fill it up finish it off do a job properly the hand the gauntlet here is nice the additional head sculpts are cool yeah i don't know about this ash look the ash looks not that great it doesn't didn't come off well but at the end of the day, I think it's a decent two pack. If you like, if you don't have these guys in your collection and you wanna get the MCU figures, then go ahead, grab this two pack. Stay tuned for more of our Infinity Saga releases. We've got the whole wave and we're gonna show all of those figures to you guys. So make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because when we release the other figures, you wanna be able to watch them. We're gonna have the entire series. And leave a comment on our videos because Every time you do, you have a chance to win a prize. And we did mention at the beginning of this video, we're giving away Thor and Odin from this series. As always, thank you for watching. Have yourself a great day.